much. Wow, thank you. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. You know, I gotta tell you, boy, I thank you very much for that, but boy, it's just, you know, you look at it's it's a it's been a terrible week here in the Northwest. Terrible week for weather. I mean, you know, we just gotta our neighbors are just oh it's just terrible what's happening. Our the floods are here and there's all sorts of trouble near the the Skokomish, the Skykomish, the Snohomish, and the Stillaguamish rivers. Those are all Indian names. All, you notice they all end in ish, which is Native American for don't build a house here. It floods. It floods. Sounds like, sounds like squish or fish. It's kind of onomatopoeia. You know. We should have figured that out. Anyway, I always really thought that the floods were centered in around Enumclaw or Black Diamond or Kent, you know, the, but I, I guess I was mostly basing that on the length of pants that people wear around there, but that's not, that isn't it, apparently. The thing is, you gotta say that those flood areas must be great places to live because people keep moving back there. You know, even they get washed away, they move back. But I guess if you wanna buy a house there, though, I, I would check it out. You know, I mean, I would be really worried if I looked around the neighborhood and people in there in the, in the surrounding neighborhood had really wrinkled fingertips. If you saw that, I would say, I don't know. Or if the previous owner, if he keeps bragging about his lung capacity, that, that would be a tip-off. But I would say that it's probably more important to be aware of the early warning signs of flooding so that you can take the proper emergency procedures. Now, there's, there's lots of warning signs that you should be familiar with. For example, your dog's legs look unusually short. That's a tip-off. <laughs> People from Sultan are on TV. That, that's uh, always, always a tough There are lots of fish in your popcorn when usually there aren't any. Or the neighbor's plastic yard ornaments are floating by your nightstand. Or the Happy Meal toy at the local McDonald's is a snorkel. And finally, a King 5 van pulls up and Jim Foreman steps out. You don't want to see that. You, that's a very scary sight. You don't want to see that. Anyway, speaking of scary, there's all sorts of really new advert. You've probably seen a lot of the advertisements out for the big films that are coming, thrillers, suspenseful things. There's a lot of really exciting stuff coming your way, films for the, for the holidays. And I think we have a preview of a really good one right now that we want to show you. Take a look. <laughs> 